These two teams, two of the great turnaround stories in college basketball this season. Auburn won 16 games last year. They've won 27 this year, 27 and three. And a steal by Doc Robinson. And Auburn has a 2 nothing lead. Well, that Doc is good for what ails you. Great stepping on both sides, great pressure. This team's for real, Sean, getting a chance as we both did to watch so many games this past week. Auburn gets after you, sound defensive principles, very aggressive, and they play hard. Playing Winthrop today, the Eagles are 21 and seven as they enter the NCAA tournament for their first time. And a shot rattled in by Hassan Groves, and undoubtedly, Bill, jitters on both sides. We would expect that anyway. Auburn hasn't been to the tournament in 11 years, and Winthrop has never been prior to this appearance. Last touch by Winthrop, or rather by Auburn. Winthrop will play it in. There's Cliff Ellis in his fifth season as head coach at Auburn. First time in the NCAA tournament, despite the fact that he's had a winning record in all five seasons. They have been the NIT three times under Ellis. Good recovery. And Eric Fisher shot one and go, and then he fouled Njai over the back on the rebounding action. Greg Marshall, the 36-year-old head coach of Winthrop in his first season, an amazing turnaround. They won seven games last year under coach Dan Kenny. This year, 21 under Marshall, and he's the first Winthrop coach ever to win the Big South Conference Coach of the Year Award. Assistant coach for 13 years, uh, going back to Belmont Abbey College of Charleston with John Cress, who's done a marvelous job for that program. And some of the many principles John Cress espouses, he utilizes here. He spent eight years working with John Cress at the College of Charleston. Scott Coleman hits a three. You got a few nicknames for him? They call him Opie. Some call him the Assassin. He's a very youthful looking young man. Scott Pullman, a sophomore from Roswell, Georgia. You would think that he was the ball boy or maybe the manager of the team when they walk in the gym, but not after you watch him play for about two minutes. I could have used five ball boys like him. Tyson Waterman answers, rattling in a three, and Winthrop does not look affected by the pressure at all here in the early goal. Uh, very relaxed, comfortable, extending the floor. They're man to man. They will change the look on occasion defensively. Holman, another three. Well, you can't. He's wonderful without the basketball. That's what jumps out at you when you check him out. Gets. Here's a three on two break opportunity for the Eagles of Winthrop University. High dribble by Waterman, but he kept control. That's been a favorite play right there. High dive. An air ball thrown up by Hassan Groves, but there to clean up the mess. Eric Fisher, a junior who's a walk on. Just before he was formally introduced as Winthrop's new coach, Marshall told his new team, anyone who doesn't believe we can get to the NCAA tournament this year should not follow me into this press conference. And for the first time ever, Winthrop is here, Sean. We are indeed from Rock Hill, South Carolina, just across the border from North Carolina, about 20 minutes south of Charlotte. Line drive shot short from Groves. He looks a little shaky early. He's their leading scorer at over 12 a game. But there to help out again is Jacques Vandeskjur. That's the kind of shot Groves takes. That's like that little line drive. A lot of depth, a lot of confidence. They snuck up on their conference in the country. Yes, they did. It took a while for people to believe Auburn was for real. 9-9 the score. Auburn one time was 25 and one. They come in having lost two of their last four. Waterman buries a three to give Winthrop a three-point lead. Uh, he was uh, on the bench with some shoe problems, but he's got a lot of moxie. He'll take big shots, make exciting plays. Reggie Sharp in at guard for Auburn, number three, Porter. Long-range jumper, Smith the rebound. Sharp uh, back sharp. up. I'm sorry, a good backup point, but can make shots as well, Sean. There's Reggie, sophomore from Shannon, Mississippi. Got his own rebound. Bad job by Waterman. Didn't block out Sharp after the miss. Yeah, everybody did it. We call Chili is the big chill. And he is big at 6'5", 235. He would leave you out in the cold. Boy, he's taking over. Eight points for Scott Pullman, and Auburn reclaims the lead, 13 to 12. And Jay Hurd took it down, the freshman guard. Yet another player on the court. Both coaches substituting liberally here in the first half. Fishback for three. 
step back, fish back. <laughs> that last play by Winthrop, when he put his uh, feet to the fire, his wife Lynn, uh, Greg Marshall's had to tutor him too to make sure he got back his Doc T's one up and a little elevation over the shorter waterman. Tyson unable to get a hand up, plus giving away a few. Trouble while we were away of the Eagles with the full court pressure being applied here by Auburn. You can just see the personality change in Auburn now, tighten it, getting more aggressive, trapping in the corner. This is Death Valley here. You don't get the pass to the postman. They've been turning it over. Adrian Stockman dribbled through the pressure. Waldrop, a three. See, that's the one thing. They'll attack it. And that's by Toxie, and he is ice cold. And Toxie should have made the delivery. <laughs> or Brian Smith. Do you like that little bada bing at the end? Uh, I think they're going to have to run their stuff. Make Auburn guard a little bit. Auburn had his three deflected by Giant. Look at the seven footer run the floor. He blocked the shot and then ran the court, dribbled and dunked. Unbelievable. I mean, he's going to be some prospect. That's why they're running their stuff. Now, I know it's down late, but it's it's got some form and shape to it. Stockman eyed the shot clock, hoisted a long two. Pulled out of the traffic. Gentonio Pitney off a nice dish by Hassan Groves. Hassan up big and what a fine. Gorgeous. Holden missed a three. Smith the rebound. Zaga hammering Minnesota. It's been a tough couple of days for the Gopher program. First Kevin Clark, the seizure on the plane, and yesterday the newspaper article alleging an academic scandal among basketball players. And now today, Holman a three. And it's uh, unfortunate, he, at least for Winthrop. He because I think you're going to be good a year from now. And Coach Marshall said, you can't. You're a senior. You are really our only legitimate inside player and threat. We need you to play this year. And good thing Groves did play. Oh, it's amazing. That, what a positive thinking. Coach. Winthrop has also won 15 out of 16, included in that span, a 12-game winning streak, the longest in school history. Heard knocked it away from Van Dysfjord, Bryant Smith. And you mentioned that quiet Porter as they finally get it into him. That's how good this team is, huh? Finally, finding uh, a pretty solid performer around the rim, Chris Porter. That's his first bucket. Doc Robinson. Doc, a nickname is given named Julius, named after Julius Irving. His dad was a big Julius Irving fan. Of course, Julius Irving was Dr. J, so over the years, Doc Robinson became Doc instead of Julius. Plays a little more like uh, maybe a Hal Greer, though. Mm -hmm. A little backcourt to uh, try and find people. Not a bad guy to emulate, though. Julius Irving has seven points after that runner. Waldron, contested three. Still time for Auburn on the push here. The pull up by Smith. And wouldn't go at the buzzer. <laughs> Halftime. It was tight early for Clint Ellis. And at the break, his team now leads by 19, 37 to 18. Waterman with Pullman on it. That was a two point try, rebounded by Bryant Smith. Robinson, a little shake and bake, and the finish. Well, you said the Doc Julius in the open floor. Pullman just beautiful how he leaked out. He drags the defense away, gives openings for people. In the full, he's good without it, and sensational in the half court set. Nine points now for Robinson, the junior from Selma, Alabama. First team All SEC this year. The Auburn lead is 21. His Doc said Dad won the state championship in 1977, and he was in the open floor contributing to a wonderful one as a number one seed in Porter. Sending it in. Robinson to Porter. No matter the outcome of this game, what has this whole experience meant to the Winthrop program? Uh, it's just great for the kids. I mean, from day one, they work so hard, and, and they deserve to be here, and whatever happens is okay because they, they, they really work hard. Lynn Marshall, thank you very much.
All right, thanks, Michelle. There's Robbie Walter bringing a smile to Mrs. Marshall's face with a three. How about young Kellen there, two years old? He's going to have a sibling in late May. Lynn Marshall is expecting their second child. And Kellen's already come up with the name after some of his favorite players on the team. He wants to. He thinks it's a boy. Right. His parents don't know. They want to be Hassan, Reggie, Jordan, Marshall. Uh, all of his pals on the team, right? The take so. mm -hmm. He's very fond of them. How about that on cue, though? Maybe you get, you get Lynn in the huddle there with the jump shot and the steal here. Hold on. Sean McDonough. He's bored. <laughs> He's bored. You're upset because you were ready for a big send it in uh, yeah, fellow or something. Send me out with that one. <laughs> well, that's one from my generation. <laughs> I thought perhaps you taught him that. Uh, Back in the days when he used to use the trampoline to get up there. He seems to be one of those players, uh, bigger game, bigger attitude, bigger involvement. He being Chris Porter. Auburn by 22, 14 and a half minutes remaining. The winner of this game meets Oklahoma State in the second round. The Cowboys beat Syracuse early today. Count the basket for A.O. Effion, and he'll have a chance for a three point play. Yeah, mentioned Effion is from Nigeria he misses the free throw he first came to the attention of Jeff Meyer assistant coach on this staff we mentioned earlier Jeff used to be the head coach at Liberty he had some success recruiting players from Nigeria back in the early 90s he saw Effion tried to get him to Liberty but couldn't entice him to come at that time there's a three buried in by Robinson and then Ethion's parents, both of them, passed away. He went to live in Lebanon with an uncle who was a traveling minister. And Ethion became the videographer of the traveling ministry. And then a couple of years, uh, last year, when Marshall got the job and Meyer became his assistant, they said, we need a big man. Let's go see if we can track down Ethion. They found him in Lebanon through the use of email. And it took a while to get him out of that country. He went to the border. There's Hurry bearing a three. And Dan Tollins, who's come in, inbounds. He has it back from Waldrop on the court with Stockman, Groves, and Fisher. And Stockman was stripped. Jay Hurd. As we were doing our research on Winthrop. I knew the foundation would impress you because it was from Boston. Yes. The school is named after Robert C. Winthrop. There's a dunk by Smith and a five. How about the noise, too? The noise factor on the strong completions. Here's a look at the Orlando bracket, the other part of the South region. Porter rebounds the miss by Wooten. And if you're Auburn right here, Sean, you're thinking as a coach, obviously, you don't want anybody to get hurt. Uh, play hard with dignity, respect the opponent. And right here, Wooten with the run out. And they want to take good shots. And Wooten buries one. It also looks right now that if you're an Auburn player, your first thought is shoot it up when you get it. And they look like they're just anxious to place the first good shot. Stat padding time. Njai a miss. It was tipped up and in. Porter and Njai were there. Give it to Njai. Six points for Mamadou, who is third team all SEC this year. And sure, to counter what you're saying about the way they're playing now, they are a pretty good passing team. Generally speaking, Auburn, they are unselfish. Hold on, give me one. Yes, he is absolutely not performing up to that high level of the tapes we've been watching. It's been a while since they were last in the tournament, Auburn, 11 years ago. Every other team in the SEC has been to the NCAA tournament at least twice mm -hmm. without Auburn going once. Now they will make up for it, I think, the way the program's going now. Well, they had a great attendance year, record setting home attendance in terms of the total number of fans through the turnstiles. They excited Bo Jackson, former Auburn football great. He flew down from Chicago to see a game unannounced, bought a ticket. Came in, of course, the Cliff Dwellers, their great student section there. They love Coach Ellis, and he loves them. And they often have by play during the games. You're suggesting it's an upset that a former athlete, as Smith knocks one down, bought a ticket? It would only be a bigger upset if a former coach paid for something. <laughs> about Kentucky, how well they're playing, how scary they could be. 
I mentioned Arkansas. I said, well, which game are you talking about? I happen to be talking about the one he lost, which he should never do with a coach. Uh, but I just like the level of intensity that Arkansas brought. It tells you the wealth of talent and the depth in this Southeastern Conference. With the ball now is Rob Wallace, number 24. And Greg Marshall getting every player into the game that he can. Looking some tournament experience. Waterman's three wouldn't go at the shot clock expiration, but Vandisker was there with the putback. And he the Ivy champion and Billy D. Billy Donovan, former Rick Pitino player and assistant coach, has got himself some solid young guys. At the University of Florida, they love to shoot the three, as does Adrian Person. Don't be afraid to warm up a little bit first, big fella. <laughs> it's, a, it's not quite the rifleman, but it's in that range, huh? A little sniper. Adrian Person, the nephew of former Auburn Greats Chuck and Wesley Person. And he's just joined the program this year out of junior college. That's Rob Wallace getting his name on the score sheet with a three. Wallace was all state in football in South Carolina in high school as a quarterback and a defensive back. Led the state of South Carolina in interceptions his senior year in high school, but elected to pursue basketball at Winthrop. Hurd buries a three. Hurd three, three and a half to go. Auburn leads 73 36. So the Blue Jays move on. The seventh seed Cardinals are eliminated. Those of you who are watching Winthrop versus Auburn will send you back to Indianapolis. Those of you who are watching Siena and Arkansas back to McNichols Sports Arena in Denver. Back here in Indianapolis, Auburn and Cruz control. They've used every player they brought with them here today. That's Mac McGadney with a long two. His toes were on the line. Those are his first points. And a 20-second timeout called by Auburn. And they'll play Oklahoma State. Interesting contrast to Styles. I would imagine that one, Oklahoma State will try to keep it slow. Oh, I would think they'll punish them with a good, solid defense, force them to use the clock on the offensive end. And not going to be an easy one. Uh, they will not go away, Oklahoma State. Good, solid understanding of defensive principles. Reggie Coles drains a three for Winthrop. We mentioned it. Ball. Chevrolet most valuable players of the game are Doc Robinson for Auburn. Great floor leadership again today. 14 points, four assists, six of nine shooting. Robbie Waldrop, tough to pick a player in all honesty for Winthrop today. No one on the Winthrop team has scored more than six points. Waldrop came in, hit a couple of threes. And he's the Chevrolet most valuable player for Winthrop. Now you don't know who's going to show up uh, at this point in the season in this setup. And it's unfortunate because they're a better team than they played. And you have to admire the wonderful year they've had. Garbage time now. McCadney with two more. He has four. He's capable of filling it up. He had 17 points in a game at Georgia this year. That was when Porter was out of the lineup. They went 3-0 and all when Porter was suspended for a violation of team rules. Pretty wins at Georgia and Alabama. And nice anticipation. And Rob Wallace missed the three. Holland scored the last hoop for Winthrop. Winthrop's season's going to end at 21 and 8. All tonight on CBS. The first day of the tournament continues. Pulls a miss, Wooten a tip, and that's it. Winthrop's first trip to the NCAA tournament ends with an 80 to 41 loss to the number one seed in the South, Auburn. Auburn advances to take on Oklahoma State on Saturday. The Tigers now 28 and 3. We'll join Greg Gumlin, Clark Kellogg in our CBS studio right after this.